uh, and grow is really even more meaningful. Now, red cape. All right. As you know, there's always a longer story for anything, and I don't want to make it too boring here. But I no, trust me, you will not make it boring. I've, 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 <laughs> I've seen you on the, on you've worked you worked the platform, so give it to folks because they need to know. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Mike. Okay, so many do know me around you know Red Cape from Wonder Woman, you know, and it and it, it did start many years back. Now we all know Wonder Woman, and this was before the new movies came out, by the way, which I thought was. Fabulous that, you know, Hollywood could get along with my program and say, hey, thanks so much for, you know, bringing Wonder Woman into the cultural four again. So, um, but uh, it was really, I have done now, I've had my own business after 10 years in corporate for about 20 years, and I've really focused on women and women, working women. And, you know, for many times it's been women uh, in the in the workplace and women working for others because that's where I first started. And then as I grew my own business and as an entrepreneur, uh, and there were more and more women entrepreneurs, that I, and I just kind of shifted that my focus that way. But here's one of the underlying facts, no matter if they're working for others or working for themselves, is that we so often wonder, you know, we get going, we wonder what the heck happened to our lives. We wonder what the heck happened to, why is our business going uh, more in the direction we want? We wonder how we're going to handle a situation, you know, and, and with a client. And we wonder all these decisions we need to make uh, on an ongoing basis to build it and, and thrive. And so the cape just was like Wonder Woman. It was like the contrast. We want to feel like the, you know, old school Linda Carter Wonder Woman, new school um, Joe Godot uh, Wonder Woman, or you just want to feel that way. We're fearless, you know. We can, can't do anything, still have a good hair day at the same time. And yet we wonder what the heck happened to our lives. So I have just always, you know, what the first time I did that, Mike, in front of a group, um, and I've done a lot of speaking in the past, they roared. And I was not, ex- I thought they might like it, but they roared and they all identified with it. That's why. And, um, and so I think that, that it just represented, we want to feel like that Wonder Woman, save the day, say, be, be fearless, be bold, be gutsy. Uh, and yet, you know, the reality is we don't always feel that way. However, what I like to do in the kind of mental work, what's happening between your ears, you know, success happens first between your ears, is that is to reflect and, and that realize and keep re-remembering that there is a Wonder Woman inside of you. You know, the guys who are listening, there's a superhero inside of you. We forget to see that. And that comes from realizing that we have overcome things in the past. We've navigated them. Not everything in life is successful, but we have made successes. And I know everybody here has resilience who's listening right now because why? You're still here in the net scheme of life, ups and downs. You still, you're successful because you're not in the ground or in a jar, okay? So th- we need to remember that we have that ability in ourselves and, we need, and to make a decision. And, hey, when we come up some, against something new, which we always do, I always say first remember what you have done. Give you some juice about that. Like, I figure that out. I'm going to figure this out. I'm obviously, I might get some help. I'm going to ask some colleagues. I'm going to, you know, need what I need to do to, to figure it out. It's not a, a, a magic wand at all at once, but, but you can. And so I think we're all actually wearing invisible capes. Sometimes they're flying better than others, okay? But anyway, it's just that that's why I use that, because it's such an identifiable, you know, metaphor and tr- to a truth in our lives. It's funny because I think I came, when I came in 2014, and I was at the MBL event, and I see people with red capes on. I had no clue. <laughs> what I'm like, what the hell? What is this? I'm like, but everybody was Memorable, proud. Though. You know what? And it's funny. Years later, I'm mm-hmm. talking to you, and I remember, I remember that. So you you deal with women. I just got to give you a shout out. Did I get the emails? And when it starts with the hey girl, you know how <laughs> it just makes yes, it warms my heart. That oh, I'm like, I'm how glad. many you I'm know. Glad. I'm I'm one of the honorary women who are getting the email and you're talking mm-hmm. about business and how to make your business better.